in a in a slightly more previous life, I did a uh, I did a lot of stand up comedy, and there. Uh, I, I lived a lot in like San Francisco and Los Angeles, and this was a time I'm like, you know what? I gotta, uh, I gotta get better. I have to be able to relate to like real Americans. You know what I mean? Like, SF audience is there a bunch of like vegans in co-ops, and I could make them laugh. I could make you know audience in West Hollywood laugh, and I'm like, I've got to step up my game. I've got to be able to appeal to real Americans, and if you're a comic in Los Angeles, that means that you just have to you just have to like leave the city and go to like random spots. So uh, this show that I uh, was going to do was um, it was at a uh, an NA meeting. That's Narcotics Anonymous. Because I was talking with a buddy of mine, I was like, like hey, I, got, I just got to get in front of real audiences. I don't want to be in front of fucking, you know, other comics or just like industry. And he's like, oh, I know this room. It's, it, it, it's really good. It's like, it's, um, this is crowded. It's in Van Nuys and like once a month at, uh, at a church, they, like the meeting, they have like uh, comics perform. And so I'm like, sweet. I'm like, how are they? He's like, well, I want to do your political shit. I'm like, okay. So he's like, uh, you know, just like, whatever, tell some dick jokes. I'm like, fantastic. <laughs> so, I, um, <clears throat> so I'm off to the valley to uh, Van Nuys to do, uh, to do my, like, to do my set. Um, I'm running late for my six o'clock show, which I don't know if you guys know anything about comedy. 6 p.m. is like, Mwah! like the, like that's exactly it, because people, they have just maybe gotten off work or kicked a habit and they're, they're just like ready to, you know, pay attention. So, uh, so the six o'clock show, I've not, I'm like fucking running late and I'm like really nervous. I hate to be late, although P.S. I am all the time. So <laughs> I wish I could say it's just like a one time thing. No. So, uh, so I'm like totally running late and, uh, and I'm like, oh fuck, just like nervous. It's like past six and I think I, I, think I get there like, I don't know, like I'm 10 minutes or so late. I'm like freaking out and I uh, have to find Bark, hey, Bark and uh, walk, into the, uh, walk into the like church parking lot. And uh, as I'm uh, about to come in, like this woman is uh, is walking out, and she stops. She looks me like straight in the eye, and she's like, "Heroin is messed up." <laughs> and I say, "Like, yeah, you know, because it, it, yeah, that's a factual statement. It is mess. It's messed up." And then I was like, "Oh, oh, so I'm Laura. I'm the um, I'm uh, supposed to perform at the meeting." Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm like running late. Is it, is it still, like, am I too late? Is this still happening? She's like, hang on. So she walks in uh, to the building, so I'm like, just like waiting. And then she, uh, she comes back and she's like, yeah, go ahead, it's first door and left. And so I like, so I just, she just go in and like start, she's like, Yes. I'm like, okay. So I walk in to, uh, to this meeting, and uh, like right now, you guys are set up like a regular audience. This, uh, this meeting was set up in like in a, in a circle, like just, a, just chairs in a circle, and like in the back of the room, there's a uh, like coffee pot and like some cookies and whatever, and I... And I just was like, well, I guess I just will jump into it. <laughs> so I get on stage and um, and I do, you know, my opener because I want to like I'm gonna I'm gonna like maybe start out strong. My opener is like, hey everyone, where are my pie fuckers at? <laughs> pie fuckers at? Because this is, you know what? Because there's nothing more American than fucking apple pie. Am I right? You can't, like, if you want to appeal to, like, middle America, it's like you start with the pie fucking material. So I open like that, um, and I, 
like barely a response, <laughs> barely a response, except for like one one guy who like sort of like a rockabilly, and he's got like a sleeve of tattoos on both arms, and he like raises his hand, which is weird because I've literally just asked where are my pie fuckers at, <laughs> and so now I'm thinking like oh I'm already bombing, and this like very kind soul is trying to like support me with like, I'm a, I'm a pie fucker, you know? Like, <laughs> so, okay. So I, uh, I proceed to do like my like awesome material that is going to like appeal to everybody. Uh, so I did my like, it's a really hard week for me. I just found out that my, my grandmother uh, is in the, in the hospital. Yeah, it's really tough because everyone in the family, we've been uh, just pleading with her. You got to take care of yourself, Grandma. You don't take care of yourself well. And I just, please, you know, use a condom. <laughs> and, uh, you know, she, uh, she didn't. So, of course, now she's pregnant. <laughs> so I did that bit. I did my, um, like, hey, who here remembers their first time? And then, like, everybody is, like, their hands are raised. I'm like, all right, I got it back. <laughs> like, so I go, I launch into my first time story. I'm like, oh, man, my first time, it was magical. Um, yeah, it was amazing. Like, I remember my boyfriend's really hot. He, like, bent me over, and then he pulled a rabbit out of my ass. It was so magical. It was my first time. Um, but that didn't get a laugh. And I, basically this is an evening where I'm doing just like all my, uh, my raunchy material. And I finally, um, you know, I finally, uh, I finally just sort of like end my set. <laughs> and um, to like nothing, like barely any response. I'm like, well, thank you. I've, um, I've been Laura Swisher. And, uh, and then just like, thanks, Laura. Yeah, like nothing, like not, it was just the, just weird, strange. Uh, I was supposed to be paid like 10 bucks, which if you're an LA comic, like getting paid anything is like, oh my God, this is amazing. I, I was like, I was too embarrassed because it was just like, I, I haven't earned it. I don't. I don't deserve this money, I'm just gonna... And I also don't want, like, I don't know where to sit. Like, do I, are there other, do I sit in another chair? Like, I didn't know, so I'm just like, oh, well, th thanks everyone, well, thank you. And I just sort of like snuck out. Okay, guys. Um, <clears throat> the, where I was supposed to perform, yes, a church. Um, had I, paid attention to the address of this church, um, I might have gone to the room that I should have been performing at, but I did not. I went to, okay, there was literally a big church. I'm running late. I see the church. That's where I go. There was another church Again, if I had read the address, I would have known, like, oh, Laura, your church isn't on this side of the street. It's on this side of the street. Um, one looked like a church. The other, some random, like, business in a strip mall. It was that kind of church, which I didn't know. So when I went back, I like, just looked over my email, like, who the fuck was I supposed to talk to? This was just the weirdest gig ever. I feel like maybe Sam should have given me a little more information, you know, just like prepped me a little more so that I would understand the room. So yeah, so I went to the wrong church. Um, apparently the NA show, Narcotics Anonymous show, was at the other one. The show that I did where nobody knew it was a show <laughs> was a Sex Addicts Anonymous <laughs> meeting. <laughs> so I can just imagine what they thought they were getting 
where my pie fucker's at. <laughs> oh, oh, sir, you fucked a pie. <laughs> you were being vulnerable and honest. And I took that and just shat on it. And then was like, what other, what other issues might everyone in this crowd, no, not a crowd, small circle have and let me try and just uh, go through all of it. So then I also thought, like, looking back at the evening, I was like, well, but why, did, why did this woman tell me that, like, yeah, just go on in? And I'm guessing that the, like, heroine is messed up. I think that that might have been like, she went to the wrong <laughs> meeting herself. Maybe it was like day one of sobriety. And literally was just telling me like, that could have been her like moment of realization. Like she's walking out and I'm walking in. Like I had the performer for the meeting. She's like, oh yeah, <laughs> like it's right in there. It's already started. I'm thinking she probably was going to the other meeting and went to the wrong one, and, but she was on heroin, or maybe just had kicked it, so she's got an excuse. I did not. And that's a crossed wire, so. Okay.